gloria to na ba 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 Ya 
of technology welcome to living streams international our midweek service and this is an, another midweek service not just another one but a supernatural one why because it's a midweek service that the president called for and that he called for prayer for the nation and prayer for this pandemic that is threatening and that has created fear all over the world nations are on their knees world leaders are on their knees 
some, are, some have their minds befuddled by the issues that are going on and they have no clue as to what to do. And at this time, many nations are lifting up their voice and asking and acknowledging that there is somebody up there who controls the affairs of men, who formed men in his own image. He calls the things that be not as though they were. Nations are now reaching out for him. I heard the Italian president say, where they have reached now, it is only God. Many other nations, presidents, who for a long time have not even acknowledged God in their lives or in their leadership, have now all of a sudden stretched forth their hands and reaching out. Prayer meetings all over the world has been organized. Men are coming to the position to recognize that there is only one God. Men are coming to the position to recognize that there is somebody whose name is Jehovah and he has the power to solve the situation. Prayer is a dependence upon someone who has the capacity to solve a problem that you don't have. Sometimes we pray to mortal men. We, we ask people to intercede for us. We ask people to intercept certain things for us. We ask people to stand on behalf of us and plead our case. But this time, prayer is not to, to any man, but prayer is to God, Jehovah himself. Jehovah is his name. He is a mighty warrior, great in battle. And he has the power in his hands to look at storms and ask storms to be quiet and look at plagues and stop the place in the in their tracks, dead in their tracks. That's the name we are about to call. That's the name our president and uh, uh, his excellency Nana Kufado has asked us to pray and seek. So tonight we are here not just to encourage ourselves but also to engage in prayer. Oh, Jehovah is his name. Jehovah is his name. Jehovah is his name. Jehovah Mighty Warrior Great In battle Jehovah Is Your name Mighty Warrior Mighty Warrior Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Sing it along with us wherever you are right now. Jehovah is His name, lift up your hands wherever you are right now. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, mighty warrior, great head in battle. Jehovah is your name. Great, heading by the 
We call on your name, O God. By your name, O God, we are victorious. Everywhere in this nation and everywhere in the nations across the world, men's hearts are failing them. Great fear and distress. Great fear and distress all over the world. Nations are on their knees. Governments are on their knees. Economic systems and financial systems are crumbling. There's only one person we have. There's only one person we have. There's only one person we have. He never changes. He never ceases to exist. He's the Alpha and He's the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's Jehovah Nisi. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's Jehovah Chikinu. Is Jehovah God of War? We have God the Father. We have God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Everybody, Wherever you are, lift up a prayer right now. Call upon that God. Rahaba Hosa Hikaba. Rapa Taza Pariandele Pai Kapa. Maro Lava Hasa Pariandele Pai Kapa. Libao Taza Pariandele Pai Kapa. Libao Taza Pariandele Pai Kapa. Your word declares. We should call upon you in the days of trouble. We are standing on your word. That says we should call you. So we call you. Hey, we call the Alpha. Hey, we call the Omega. Hey, we call Jehovah. God of War. We call our fortress. We call the name that is given amongst men. Whereby, whereby all men, everyone shall be saved. We call upon the name Jesus. We call upon the name. There's a heavy presence in this place. And I believe wherever you are right now, through the tubes of technology, His works give praise to Him. You deserve the thanksgiving. Oh, you alone. Now you're better. 
Everything is peace. We come as a voice of faith. We come as a voice of hope. We come as a voice of hope. We come as a voice of faith. We come as a voice of prayer. And we also come as a voice of education. We come with inspiration. And we come with information. You need this in this moment. We need this in this hour. We need him. Oh yes, we need him. The world is in. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. We can We come with a tower of hope and tonight we're de de dedicating it to prayer and to seeking the face of God. Tonight we dedicate it to prayer and to seeking the face of God. Today is our national day of prayer and I want to lead you in a moment of prayer in a moment where we are seeking the face of God for God to bring a solution to our present predicament. Predicament to our present entanglement oh God wherever you are lift a prayer right now Yes, Father, we call on you. Yes, Father, we call you. We call on you. Yes, Father, we call upon you. In the book of Exodus, chapter 10. I want to speak prophetically concerning this present calamity. The Bible says in the, in the book of Exodus, when Moses approached Pharaoh and told Pharaoh, let my people go. And Pharaoh refused to let the people go. 
And the Bible says, And the Lord sent an east wind, that is in verse 13, and Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt. And the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locust. And the locust went up over all the land of Egypt and rested in all the coast of Egypt. Very grievous were they. Before them, there was no such locust as they. Neither after them shall be such. For they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened, and they did eat every herb of the land, and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left. And there remained not any green thing in the trees or in the herbs of the field through all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in his haste, and he said, I have sinned against the Lord, your God, and against you. Now therefore forgive, I pray thee, my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God, that he may take away from me this death only. And he went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord. And the Lord turned a mighty strong west wind, which took away the locust and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the coast of Egypt. The Bible said, first of all, there was a mistake. First of all, there was an error. And first of all, there was a grievous error in the sight of God on the part of, of Pharaoh. Pharaoh did something that was wrong. And as a result of that, judgment was upon Pharaoh and his land. I'm not saying that coronavirus is a judgment of God. I will not, I don't have any spiritual information as to that. But definitely this disease is a result of human failing and human error. Something went wrong somewhere. Something went wrong somewhere. And the Bible said, number one, when, Moses, when Pharaoh recognized that something had gone wrong, he called Moses and he said, Moses, speak to your God and tell your God to take away this death this judgment. The east wind brought judgment. Yes, no doubt about it. All of us are witnesses to the kind of thievery, the kind of plundering, the kind of rich robbing the poor. And we know all the things that are going on. Mighty nations bringing poorer, weaker nations to their knees with harsh economic policies that stifle initiatives and everything. And sometimes... There's a cry and there's a cry in the land and sometimes this cry may be a cry that may bring judgment. Nations have stood and have denounced our God and said there's no God. Some people have said that we don't even trust in God but in our financial resources and our financial capabilities. You let your financial capabilities answer this. Kings are coming to their knees. Royals are being infected by this disease. People in positions of prominence, generals, war people who have, who have faced every bullet you can think of, who have gone to war, they are war veterans. On their shoulders, they wear the epaulets of victory they have worn. All of a sudden, we are all on our knees and there's only one person we are crying out to. There's only one person we can turn to. Just like Pharaoh, we are also turning to our God. And we as the children of the living God. We are being asked by government. We are being asked by people in positions of prominence to call upon our God. So tonight we are going to call upon our God. Tonight we are stepping out in boldness. Tonight we are stepping out in power and in faith. The church, you can malign us. You can say anything about us. But we hold some keys in our hands. And the key is that we know him. The people who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. It is not time for the church worldwide to stand up and brace up their shoulders because the governments that we know will always be upon the shoulders of him who we love dearly and that is Jesus Christ. We're going to pray like Pharaoh said. Moses entreated the Lord. And then the Bible said, as Moses lifted up the rod, Moses lifted up his connection. Moses lifted up the testimony that God had given him in the backside of the wilderness. God had shown him what that rod is capable of doing. 
So Moses had record. Moses had evidence of God's divine intervention. It was Moses at the, at, the, at, the, at the backside of the desert in the wilderness. It was that same rod that he threw down. And then that rod became a snake. And then it was he who picked up that rod. And then that rod became a snake. So Moses had a testimony. He knows what that rod can do. We as the children of God, we know we have a tool, we have a weapon. We have a weapon of mass destruction. We have a weapon of offense. Our weapon is prayer. Yehovah, 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 We have a weapon. Yehovah is holy. The righteous are dependent on him. when Moses lifted up his point of connection when Moses lifted up his rod of testimony when Moses lifted up that rod a west wind came we also have a rod and that rod is prayer we also have a weapon that is powerful the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imagination and every high thing that lift itself against the name of Jesus. Imposing the name of Jesus upon, upon situations. Our weapon is prayer. And so we call upon saints everywhere. Join us in prayer. As we're going to pray tonight. I'm going to release the prayer topics. And we are going to pray. The Lord send the west wind. Send the west wind. Let the west wind drive away this plague. Let the west wind drive away this locust. Let the west wind drive away this, this pandemic. Lord, bring a solution. Lord, lift up your name. We are calling God. Let's pray for this nation. We are praying for the nation of Ghana. We are praying for the nation of Ghana. That Lord, for the sake of your people, rescue this nation. Rescue the nations of the world. Open your mouth and pray wherever you walk. Run the river Come on, let's fill this area with prayer. Come on. Father, we pray for the nations. We pray for the nation, Ghana. Lord, hear our cry. Lord, hear our cry. Mercy. Mercy, Lord. Lord, look upon Ghana. Lord, look upon Ghana. Grapu Seka Ghana. Gradokapu Ghana. Mercy, O God. Lord, remember Ghana. Lord, remember Ghana. Lord, remember Ghana. Lord, remember Ghana. Remember Ghana. Remember the nations. Lord, remember the nations. 
Remember this mission of God. Mercy. Mercy. Rapota Kafa, mercy. Lord, don't forget us. Lord, don't. Lord, don't. Lift up your hands. Our help is you. Our help is in your name. Our help is you. We don't have it, oh God. We don't have it, oh God. We don't have it, oh God. Folks, folks, let's pray for the president and members of government that God will strengthen them with wisdom. And in such moments like this, one careless edict, one error by a leader can cost the nation. We have heard, we don't know how far it's true, but it could be, may not be. But we know from the Bible that it was Pharaoh who said to Moses, get away from my face. I won't let the people go. The price of leadership, an unwise decision, a decision that is not based on the counsel of God, that is based on the future counsel of men who have no understanding or who do not know what is really going on, can cost the nation. We are praying for the president and members of government huh. that God will strengthen them with wisdom. Amen. We pray that they will make quality decisions Amen. that will not jeopardize the spiritual health Amen. and physical health of this nation. Amen. Our verse is Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 to 4. Amen. We are calling him, O oh God. Amen. We are calling upon God. Amen. Supply wisdom Jesus. to the leader, Jesus. our president, Jesus. the minister of health, Jesus. the cabinet, Jesus. all the people. Jesus. That God they will make decisions. Jesus. That these decisions are going to be priceless decisions. Jesus. Are going to be decisions that are going to affect Jesus. this nation positively and powerfully. Jesus. Not wrong decisions. Jesus. Decisions that are not going to affect the spiritual health of this nation. No affect the, the physical health of this nation in the name of Jesus let's pray for the for the president in the book of Proverbs 24 verse 3 to 4 Proverbs 3 no Proverbs 24 3 to 4 yes let's pray with that scripture let us pray with that scripture come on let's pray with that scripture right now God standing God standing in for us God standing for us God standing for us God standing for us. God standing for the leader. We pray for the president. 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 We pray for government. Hey Lord, supply wisdom. Lord, supply wisdom. Lord supply wisdom. Lord supply wisdom. Lord supply wisdom. Lord supply wisdom. Through wisdom. A house is built. And by understanding. It is established. Father, we pray that the government of this nation will bring out wise decisions that will establish the health of this nation, that will promote the spiritual well-being of this nation and promote the, the physical health of this nation. May there be no contrary voice that will open doors for destruction in the name of Jesus. By knowledge, shall chamber be filled with all precious and pleasant riches Father standing for this nation lift up your hand over this leader lift up your hands over our leaders in the name of Jesus we're going to raise the next prayer topic we raise a war cry against every demonic disease and we're going to employ the blood Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 we're going to raise a war cry against every demonic disease. 
and employ the blood. blood. Ah, let the west wind the deal blood. with this. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Revelations twelve eleven. The blood, the blood. Revelations twelve eleven. The blood in the name of Jesus. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb ah, the and by the word of their testimony. In the name of Jesus. And they loved their lives not, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Okay. We're going to pray for this nation. That the blood will speak for us. Come on, lift up your voice. Ah. Ah. Can we just pray? Come on, let's pray. Lift up the blood. Let the blood speak. 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 Over this nation. Over every plague. Coronavirus. Let the blood speak. Oh, we appeal to the blood. 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 We're going to pray. We pray that every wind carrying this disease will be reversed. In the name of Jesus. Just like God sent a west wind to reverse the destructive locus of the east wind. We are also raising up our cry. Lord, we reverse. We reverse. We reverse. Recoveries. Healings. We speak healing. We speak recovery. We reverse this plague. Wherever it is coming from, we send it back. We send it back. Come on, let's pray right now. We rebuke this wind. This demonic wind. We reverse it. Let the west wind blow. Let the west wind blow. Let the west wind blow. We reverse this place. I'm going to pray that people will employ healthy practices that will make them survive. God can raise the dead, but if you don't roll the stone, your dead will stay in the tomb. For the great miracles that God does, sometimes he employs the hands of men. If Moses doesn't stretch forth his rod, the Red Sea will not open. If the stone is not rolled away, the manifestation of Lazarus' resurrection will never be a reality. Yes. So we are going to pray. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. And 3 John 1, 2. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Beloved, I wish all, above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. We're going to pray that people would eschew foolishness. People will eschew, when the president gave an edit, people were reveling in, 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 at a resort. And they were all in the sea. Proximity didn't matter to them. They think this thing is a joke. It's not a joke. You go to the hospital and see people gasping for their last breath. We're going to pray that people, one way or the other, grace may abound. Yeah. That one way or the other, people will hear the voice of leadership. Amen. And then they'll follow the principles and follow the dictates of leadership. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I'm a pastor, but my church is empty right now. That's not the way it, 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 is, it used to be. But for the sake of wisdom, yeah. and for the sake of the lives of my congregation members being precious to me, mm. I choose to be without my congregation members. So that we can, I can only speak to you with just a few people, just helping in, in, our, in the things that we do, our technical people, to make this recording possible. So guess what? We pray for wisdom. Amen. We pray that people will not be foolish. Amen. 
we deal with the spirit of foolishness and Amen. stupidity. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the man will be sober and be vigilant. Amen. For the adversary prowls around seeking whom he might devour. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, we lift the people. Let people throw away the garment of foolishness. Let people throw away the garment of foolishness. Let people throw away the garment of foolishness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now we pray for the church. That no church member will be affected and no church member will lose their lives. Amen. We said we pray for the church. Church, we pray for you. That nobody will be affected and nobody will lose their life. Lord, let our lives be precious in your sight. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 121 verse 5. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day. Nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. From all evil. He will preserve our souls. Amen. Shall we just pray right now? We lift up. Members of living streets. Members of other churches. Members of living streets. Pray for the church of God. Lord, let our lives be precious in your sight. Lord, protect your church. Lord, protect your people. Lord, protect your people. We remind you of your word. That you are a keeper. You are the shade upon our right hand. That the sun will not smite us. By death. Not the moon. By night. In the name of Jesus. From this global pandemic. Deliver us in the name of Jesus. Deliver us, O God, from this pandemic. In the name of Jesus. We pray that people have a sense of responsibility towards the church. In such times, selfishness can be promoted. But God doesn't want us to be selfish. But listen, the people, I, I know that sometimes people think that this is an excuse for them to abdicate on their responsibility also towards the church. We're also praying that people will not abdicate on their responsibility. Colossians 3, 23 to 24. We have a sense of responsibility towards the church. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. 24. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. For you shall serve the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Christ. Now listen to me, church. You have a couple of responsibilities towards church. Number one, stand in prayer of faith. Number two, send forth hope. Send forth messages of hope to members. Don't circulate frightening things. Don't increase the fear level. Be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Send forth encouraging words to church members. Send forth powerful testimonies. Send forth this video. Let it go viral. You have a responsibility to send forth messages of faith and hope. Number two, raise prayer for every church member. Pray, be your brother's keeper. Be your brother's keeper. Send forth an encouraging word, but pray for people also. Amen. Call your friend and say, can I pray with you in this time? Can I encourage you at this time? Tell the person you will leave and declare the glory of God. You will not die. Amen. And also too, you have a responsibility to educate people on sanitary conditions or sanitary, sanitary um, procedures. Amen. Things they need to do. How to wash their hands. How to, how to honor space. Amen. Social spaces. Amen. How to respect social spaces. And all that. How to cough. And close up their cough. What to do. What not to do. But also too. You also have a responsibility towards the church. And that is financial. We can't run away from that. It is a reality. It is not our priority. But it is a reality. Because all these things come to you. Through the tips of technology. And it costs money to do that. 
So we need your support and we need your financial support. Knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. We don't only serve God with just our mouth, but we serve the Lord with our time, our talent, and our treasures. So, an address will be coming on, on the waves, on, 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 the, on your screens. And then you can help us support the gospel with this. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Shall we just pray for that finances and all the things that in the sacrifice of talent the sacrifice of time and the sacrifice of treasures yes we pray we pray we pray ye ye Na ye, ye ye, wozi. Na ye, oh tia, sevo, oh, weni, ye ye, wozi. Oh, Tia, Sivo, oh, when he, he, was in the We pray that people will be driven into the church as a place of refuge, and the spirit of evangelism will be in the church. Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. In Acts chapter 2, more were added. We're going to pray that people are not going to run away from the church, but rather more will be added. So let's pray for more to be added. The church is a place of refuge, the church is a place of hope, the church is a place of encouragement. The church is a place of information and the church is a place of inspiration. Lord, we lift up your church. We lift up your church in the name of Jesus. And then we pray for the finances of the church. But the finances of the church will not suffer. In moments like this, sometimes when there is a famine, Selfishness is promoted. But this is not the time for selfishness. In a, in a midst of drought, after Acts of the Apostles, after the Holy Ghost fell, some decided to withhold. Some decided to hold back. But we are not that type of people. We believe that our God shall supply all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we pray, Philippians 4.19. The men's hands will be strengthened. Our finances will, be, will improve. Economies are falling. Of economies are failing. Nations' finances are crumbling. But guess what? In the midst of famine, that is when God promotes his people. Go ask Abraham. Go ask Isaac. In the midst of famine, he became the greatest man, the richest man. And the Bible says, now the people were afraid of his wealth. In the days of famine in Egypt, the people of Israel were given the choicest land, Goshen. They had the choicest land. In the name of Jesus, Father, stretch forth your hand and touch members. And touch church members all over. Touch your people. By the time this turn is over, the advantage of wealth will become ours. In the name of Jesus. Now we want to thank God for answered prayer. Psalm, Psalm 75 verse 1. Come on, let's thank God for prayer. Oh, your demon for mommy. Oh, your demon for mommy. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, your 
Date with us on Sunday. Make a date with us on Sunday. Come on, let's worship some more. Make a date with us just for two minutes. Let's just worship. Make a date with us on Sunday. Yes, do. 8.30 to 10 o'clock. God bless you. See you on the other side. That's what we've preached on Sunday. See you on the other side of health. See you at the other side of well-being. See you at the side of health. See you at the side of well-being. See you at the side of prosperity. See you at the side of safety. God bless you. This is Living Streams International. Put your hands together for the Papa. I believe you were blessed by this word. I believe you were blessed by the whole atmosphere. I believe you were blessed by this prayer. Please continue to pray. This is not something that will we'll just you know pray once and leave it it is something that is just prevailing and we need the mercies of god against this judgment that is hovering in the air but this place we give hope so tune in with us again on sunday and you have more than you bargained for god bless you see you on sunday and the time is eight o'clock 8 30 okay sorry the time is 8 30 tune in exactly 8 30 and then we'll be with you your life will never be the same god bless you stay healthy be wise not careless but carefree god bless you hallelujah amen